Hello everyone. This is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot. And this is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Aquarius. Aquarius, this is your weekly general reading for the 20th through the 26th of May, 2019. So we, I'm using the psychic tarot we had to fly out. So we have spiritual strength and prosperity begins. Beautiful. I'm also using the Energy Oracle, and I will be pulling one from the Fairy Oracle as well. We have action coming up here. Discovery. Behold the world with new eyes. Awesome. All right, Aquarius, give me just one moment to get your cards shuffled and laid out. Spirit, what does Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising sign need to know this week? Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising sign, Spirit. What does Aquarius need to know? We are ready. All right, Aquarius. All right, we have the situation of the week. We have the tower coming up here. Crossing you is the two of swords. In your foundation, we have the magician. Strength coming in here in your recent past. Queen of Cups is your crowning energy. Seven of Wands coming up in here in your new circumstance. From the bottom of the deck, we have Kronos coming up here. All right, you guys. Very powerful reading right here. A lot going on. Let's go ahead and take a look at your major energies. This is going to be the week I feel like that you're going to have to go within, Aquarius, and pull upon that inner strength. All right? Um, when you go within, it, it's like... You know, because you have strength coming out here, too, in your recent past. This is being courageous, all right? Um, going within, knowing that you have the divine working with you and flowing through you. This is what's going to be able to help you be able to move on past any situation that may feel like Like you just don't know where to turn or where to go from here. All the answers you seek, Aquarius, lie within you. Alright? You have the answers. But you have to tap into that flow of energy. You have prosperity begins. This is reward for effort. This is a seed that's planted. That you planted. It needs to be nurtured. So it can grow and expand and open up opportunities in your life. This is something that is that can serve you for, for a long time to come. As long as you nurture this seed. I feel like right now is the time to take action. Something needs to be done in your life. Something needs to be tended to that requires action now. Maybe getting to the heart of a situation. Maybe working through a feeling of lack or maybe disappointment in a situation. Now we have discovery. Behold the world with new eyes. And I feel like that's exactly what you're going to do. When this tower moment hits. Alright. Because this is all about. Something that is falling. It needs to fall. It needs to crumble to the ground. Because it wasn't built on a strong and firm foundation. It's time to rebuild. Okay. Once you start rebuilding. You're going to be able to look at the world. In a different way. This could be something definitely emotionally as well, you guys. 
But with Kronos coming up here, I feel like this has to do with something that you felt bound or tied to, Aquarius. S some way or, you know, th there's something here that has to do with feeling restricted. This could be alcohol. This could be drugs. This could be eating. This could be a negative way of thinking. This could be a negative relationship. Toxic. That's the overall energy. That's the energy of Capricorn right there. Now we have the tower as the current situation this week. You finally had enough of whatever this is. Now you're going within. Tapping into that spiritual strength, that wisdom that you hold within you. This is breaking down bad habits, purging your feelings. This is having an emotional breakthrough. It's time to rebuild. We have the two of swords crossing you. This can be either a positive or a challenge for you, Aquarius. And I feel like... This is a positive. I feel like you're at a crossroads. You need to make a decision, maybe about a situation or a person. Whatever's feeling, keeping you feeling bound or tied, restricted. It's time to break free. Take the blindfold off and see the situation for what it truly is. So you can move forward. And you're going to because you have the magician in your foundation. This is beautiful. Gemini, Virgo energy right here. This is you being very focused, using all the tools on the table here that are available to you to manifest what it is that you truly want, what you desire. This is clear communication, using your mind, using intellect to get to where you want to be. Laser focused intention right here, very positive, and this is a number one as well. And we have a, a number one right here. I feel like some of you are manifesting, getting yourself up maybe out of a uh, financial situation that is not serving you anymore. You're going to allow uh, this seed to be planted and manifest, manifest it so you can have growth and expansion in your life. Strength, energy of Leo. This is being very courageous. I feel like with this being in your recent past, you know this tower has to be dealt with. This could be changing jobs. This could be changing a career path altogether. Going back to school. A relationship. Something that needs to end. Something you need to rebuild. And you were courageous. You gained that self-confidence by going within. Gaining spiritual enlightenment within yourself. To change direction here. Going after a dream maybe. Maybe to make a dream come true. You know it was going to be hard because something needed to be torn down. But that's where this inner strength comes in. And you're trusting in the universe. You're trusting in spirit, in spirit to guide you and you're taking action. You have the Queen of Cups crowning you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is you listening to your intuition, Aquarius. Some of you might literally be working moon magic, manifesting, using the divine, co-creating right here. This is going with the ebb and flow, following the divine, allowing it to flow through you and listening to achieve this uh, manifestation, this outcome that you truly want. And all of this takes perseverance with the Seven of Wands coming up here in your new circumstance. This is you standing up for what you believe in, knowing that you have a divine purpose in life. That you have a destiny. You have a purpose. This is you having the gaining advantage as well over others. Taking a stand for what you believe in. <coughs> Excuse me. Doing what's best for Aquarius. It's okay to disagree with others, but you have to do what's right for you. And if that means getting away from situations that are negative, that are bad, people that are bad or negative, not healthy for you, you're going to do it. You're going to do what's right for Aquarius.
you've done a lot of time going within, I feel like, meditation. And you're gaining spiritual enlightenment. And with that spiritual enlightenment comes spiritual strength. You're manifesting. You're planting seeds with your mind. Positive thoughts on a new beginning of financial security and stability. You're taking action on it. You're going to be able to discover that the world is a beautiful place with many opportunities. Once you, you know, break these chains of restriction or whatever it is that you're bound to. And you're going to tear down this tower that's no longer serving you. And you're going to start to rebuild. You're going to make the choice, the decision. Take the blindfold off and come out of denial. And set your intentions and focus. Manifest what it is that you truly want. Because in your recent past, you made the choice, the decision to do so. You were courageous. Now you're listening to your intuition. And you're moving forward successfully. You're, you're having to take a stand for what you believe in. For what's right for you. You have the gaining advantage, Aquarius. I see clearly now. I willingly forgive. I breathe love into my vision and I see with compassion and understanding. My clear insight is reflected in my outer sight. I am open and receptive to new avenues of income. I now receive my good from Expected and unexpected sources. I am an unlimited being. Accepting from an unlimited source. In an unlimited way. I am blessed beyond my fondest dreams. Wow. Very positive. These are major energies. You guys are going through major transformation. But you're doing it. You're taking action on it. Aquarius, please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I will see you next time. And good luck to you, Aquarius. Bye-bye.